to us. Speak to each of our hearts so that our footsteps will be guided by the Holy Spirit. Speak, Lord. We're listening. In the precious name of Jesus, we all say amen. amen. There is a verse in the gospel according to St. John that I used as a verse to share a word with you in the news letter. Please don't read the news letter right now. Amen. I'll be through it a little bit. But it is in chapter 5 that that verse is there. And that's really not our main text for the day, but it's a word that connects verse 5, or chapter 5, the verse is 44. And here's what it says. How can you believe when you accept the glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Can we hear that? How can you believe when you accept glory from one another, when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who is God alone. And then back to Luke's Gospel, where we just finished reading in the 24th chapter there. We have the story of the two disciples walking to Emmaus. The word tells us that they are coming out of Jerusalem, making this what seemed to be short to us, but it was a journey that they were walking, a seven mile journey between Jerusalem and Emmaus. They were having a discussion among them, or between them, I should say. And while they were talking, a third person showed up. Mm -hmm. And when the conversation was over, this third person went home with them at their invitation and it was only when he took the seat of honor and broke bread with them that they uttered these words did not our hearts burn mm -hmm. while he spoke to us <coughs> by the way mm -hmm. what is it what a scene. That's all I want to say this morning. What a scene. Mm. What a scene that we have. Mm -hmm. We sang what a friend we have, but what a scene. Yes, sir. What a scene. We hardly talk in church anymore about salvation. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> That's not a topic of interest in most of our 
churches today. We rarely hear any talk anymore about somebody being saved. We seem to have thrown all that kind of language away. shame of the Christian church in my estimation we have become so political that we have lost our spiritual vision. We're involved in everything but the right thing. We promote bad things and we forget about the good things. Mm. But I want to report to you this morning that Jesus is still alive. Yes, he is. And if you are alive too, you still have an opportunity to make him your savior. Look at what happened. This text began with two men walking along the Emmaus Road. They were disciples, but they were not a part of the twelve disciples. And all that's right here in the text because at the ending of the text you will discover that when they, when they got to where they were going, the eleven were already there. So if the eleven were already there, these were two other disciples. What is that point, preacher? Don't ever think that you're the only witness, God bless. God bless somebody. God got somebody that he touched and healed. And they are saying, thank you, Jesus. It's amazing what God can do for us and we won't give him the credit. We seek glory, says John, from other people. It's in the book. says, can you believe in God and receive God's salvation when you are seeking glory well, from other people? Yes, it's vain, I tell you. What do you have when you have man's approval? Hmm. You might need to know who approved the man that's approving you. Amen. We seek, we live, we want to make others happy. But one day, we're going to have to stand before God's judgment. And when I stand there, God is not going to ask me about anybody else. God is going to say, what about you, Buckland? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes, God will show himself to you, reveal himself to you, if you will let him. Mm -hmm. God knows when you need him to. Yes. Yes, I said, God knows when you need him. Yes. Yes. Right. Peter knew something about that. Amen. The disciples were in a boat one day doing what the Lord say do. You can be doing what the Lord say do, and trouble still won't get in your way. They were doing exactly what the Lord said do in the boat that He told them to get in, in the in the lake that He told them to go in, going, going across to the other side like He told them. But while they were going, a storm came down on the lake. And as the storm they began to cry out. There was Jesus walking over the wall. All twelve saw him, but only one spoke out to him. You remember, don't you? Peter cried out, Lord, if it's really you, 
talk about it. Before we put Peter down, mm. you ever been so low in spirit or no, so weak in body? Yeah. So troubled in soul? Yeah. Let you cry out, Lord, if you're really here. Yeah. Yeah. That's all Peter was saying. Yeah. Like an outcast, go and tell the disciples and Peter. Mm. 
because he knew how he defended. Then he showed himself to Mary. Sometimes folks give others a bad rep. Mary lied. The one from whom he cast out demons. He showed himself to her. If he showed himself to Peter after death and showed himself to Mary Magdalene after death, mm -hmm. well, then he'll show himself well, to you and to me yeah. while the blood is still running warm and out. Yeah. All I want to tell you this morning is, my, what a Savior. Yeah. Yeah. What a Savior we have to follow hard after. Mm -hmm. What a Savior. Yeah. Anybody Like 
the same wording from the last song. Mm -hmm. And he took the seat of honor at that table. Mm -hmm. But when he did the symbolic act, when he broke the bread, it was customary for a visitor in the house to be the one who break the bread and begin the meal. When he broke the bread, mm -hmm. their eyes became open. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Jesus will break something in your life and your eyes will become open. And until then, you can talk all the noise you want. It's just the blind trying to lead the blind. But when your eyes become open and you really know who Jesus is, you will praise him. And at the end,